All right, hello everyone, I'm Saviour from the SUP store. We're here in Christchurch. We just had a wicked uh, clinic today with Blue Ewer. Um, this is Blue. Um, so, Blue, we just had a clinic today, how did it go? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Um, it's great to see like a proper range of abilities here. Yeah. Um, get to meet like, the local community around here. Um, and yeah, I think we've made some great progression of all the, all the partners out today. Um, yeah. I feel like we've all learned something. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully we'll be back for more. Good. So you're doing any more clinics um, in the UK? Yeah, so I've got quite a few lined up at the moment. So I've got um, one of the guys of a whale supper with Anna out there in Cambridge. Um, yeah. I've got one of those which is based in March. Yeah. I'm having a March. Um, yeah. I've got another one which I'm going over to see um, the guys in Northern Ireland. Oh, um, and yeah. that's in February, so that's going to be a good trip away. Um, mm -hmm. I've got another guy, one of the guys in the North East. Yeah. Um, and there's a few more popping up as well. Um, looking in the planning at the moment. Right. Yeah, I think the guys today that had the clinics were all buzzing afterwards and, and all frothing and all got the motivation again, ready for the season to start. You know, lots of techniques, tips on, on how to eat, on how to paddle and how to train. So I think, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. So I think it's quite a success really. So if you ain't booked up on any of his clinics through the year, um, get on them um, and uh, get them booked up. Training wise, we all want to know. What, what makes you much faster than everyone else? Is it training, is it eating, is it technique? What would you say? So I think it's, it's really a mixture of a lot. So I've always, from a young age, been paddleboarding for years and years, and so my technique has kind of developed quite well. Yeah. Um, so the main thing for me really is as I'm getting older and stronger now, is I've been really developing my strength a lot more. Uh, I've been doing a lot more weight training rather than just going paddling and surfing. Mm. Um, but I do find like very in my training as well. So rather than just going out and going surfing or going on the race board 24 seven, it's like switching up, doing a bit of running, a bit of gym stuff, a yeah. bit of foiling surfing, and getting yeah. on the race board as well. I find mixing it up, it means um, keeps it nice and fun, keeps me like keeps me motivated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. 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 Right. So what do you think is the most important thing in paddleboard racing? Is it your technique, your diet, uh, ability, you know, skill sets? What do you think? Um, I think really to be a proper athlete and to be a Serious paddler, you need to have like a, a balance of everything. Yeah. Um, if your technique's off, you, you're just not going to be as efficient as the paddlers around you, and you're just not really going to have much of a chance. Um, but like the training's a massive part of it as well. Um, you need to be a, not just training on, on your race board, getting out paddling, but you need to have a variety of training, maybe mm -hmm. do some CrossFit or some gym training. Yeah. Um, personally, I do quite a lot of weight training. I think yeah. that makes me a lot more explosive when I'm paddling. Um, and I've really noticed an impact on my, on my performance of that. Yeah. Um, it is important eating well as well. Um, for me, um, being young and having such a fast metabolism, I found that it was really just getting the calories in more than anything. Mm. Um, I need to eat enough, otherwise I'm just not going to build, I'm not going to get stronger. Mm. Um, but I think for people getting into sub racing, um, I think it's important to have a balance. Uh, if you're constantly training on your race board, you're constantly in the gym, it's going to get a bit tedious and a bit yeah. boring. Um, I think if you mix it up all the time, um, it will keep it, come, mm. keep it fresh and keep you motivated. So eat, eat your wines, do you eat unhealthy, do you have burgers, do you um, have stuff like that as well, or just cheat days? Yeah, we're only human, so Yeah, occasionally. So but you're not too strict of it all? No, I, I do try to eat Yeah. Um, all week, um, eat healthy, um, breakfast, lunch and dinner, um, but yeah, occasionally. Of course mm. I go for Mackey's Drive for every now and then. Yeah. Who's your influencers? You yeah, sure. Influencers? Um, yeah, so like, since I was a young kid, like Kyle Lenny, obviously, he yeah. was in his peak when I was a little kid. Yeah. And he was a massive influence of mine. Always wanted to be, oh, be like Kyle Lenny, do this, yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's nice having like, people like my dad as well around me, yeah. like, pushing you. Um, oh, I don't know what I say, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's always nice to like, finally be able to beat him. But yeah. <laughs> I would love that. Um, yeah. A lot of people can't really go paddling with their family. It's nice to be able to do everything I like with yeah. my family as well. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to say you've done? Yeah, sure. I mean, completed. obviously, with paddleboarding going forward, I hope that one day I'll get plenty Olympics. Um, that would be my all-time goal as well, yeah, you become an Olympian if it yeah. gets added to that. Yeah. Um, that would be a, like, an amazing achievement to have for anyone. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, I'd like to um, maybe spend a few years on the World Tour, not just doing the odd event, doing all the events on the World Tour, the Euro Tour, um, and also like just competing in more international events. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the moment, it's kind of taking a step from national stuff to international stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'd like, like to do a lot more racing internationally, but I'd also like be nice to represent the country and again, do some uh, more like surfing as well yeah. for the country. This is your board, the JP Flat Water. Talk me through it. What do you like about it? Uh, yeah, look. So, find a flat water board when you're going out on the rivers or the estuaries or even on the lakes. Um, it's a perfect board for me. It's got a super flat bottom line to it, um, so it's super smooth for the water. Um, I do find it actually nice and stable as well for a 20 that sounds a 21 <laughs> wide board. Um, but yeah, I've gone really well with this on the flat water. Um, quickest board I've been on. Um, I use my all water board for like ocean or downwind stuff. Uh, this doesn't handle the, uh, the wind and the chop so much. Yeah. Um, but 
on the flat days is um yeah super quick is this the board you're racing um this year 2022 um yeah i've got obviously the newest models coming yeah um so most of the races i will be using this board um and then obviously if it's a bit choppier and a bit windier um i've got my all 22 all water as well if i want to use it um, yeah. for like, some ocean races this is the black project hydro flow x hydro flow x yeah, yeah. And are you getting on with that? All right, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going into 2022 of uh, yeah. Black Project. Uh, I've been yeah, really impressed so far, Vesta. Yeah. Um, really good. Uh, they're just constantly innovating all their technology, constantly mm -hmm. changing everything, making it better. Yeah. Um, the paddles and the fins have both been, yeah, both been really good. Um, and I've definitely noticed the difference with this one here. It's a lot easier on my body when I'm paddling, yeah. um, which means I can, can train more and I don't have to worry about injuries so much. Yeah. Um, last year, I did have some problems with my shoulders, yeah. um, which came from like paddling with stiffer paddles and like harder training, um, but this is to make it 10 times easier. It's just taking the stress away and yeah, going re looking forward to another to a year with them. You're good. You work uh, a water sports shop now. Um, do you see yourself eventually doing it full time? Is that? Um, potentially, I mean, obviously at the moment, they're not kind of as much funding behind it as there's yeah. a lot of other sports from the government. I yeah. mean, if that was something that kind of went into play and then obviously you can earn a decent living from yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but at the moment, um, still train as much as I can, uh, yeah. training, I'm in the water or in the gym or doing something every yeah. day. Um, and yeah, at least I'm in a job when I'm around or what's possible all the time. Yeah, um, it's I'm, good. It's I'm good. learning about stuff all the time. I'm not sat at office on a desk, um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a lack of youngsters coming through. There's obviously, you know, what, three, four, five, you were talking about them earlier. Yeah. What's the names of the youngsters you saying? Yeah, so you've got people like Will Keatley and yeah. Jess or younger lads who are coming up and yeah. they get quicker and quicker every year. Yeah. Um, but if you look at like the Spanish or the French, yeah. years, the amount of youth they've got there yeah, is, yeah, yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Um, but it's not quite the same numbers here, so uh, it'd be good to see that increase and good to yeah, see the competition yeah. level just getting higher and higher here, yeah, yeah. Um, as it is in, across the Europe and the rest of the world. It'd be good to see, you know, I think it's a lot of club level stuff, isn't it? It helps that they've got a little bit better temperatures in them countries yeah. as well, <laughs> you know, so it's not too appealing over here. But, um, that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's pretty much all we, we've got to cover, really, without going too in depth with things or too pestering you too much. But uh, it's been great to have you today, and um, I'm going to go out for some beers tonight and see how you get on in the clinic tomorrow. Um, so, pretty much that's it, man. All right, nice yeah. one. Cheers, dude.